Welcome to the Smarts Time Lapse Video Software Package. After you've downloaded the software into your computer and then started the program on your desktop, you'll notice a number of icons across the top. The first is for time lapse photography, the second is for motion detection, the third is for telescope control for astronomers out there, fourth is for recording meteor trails, and the fifth is for animation uh, movies. Let's open up the time-lapse program. Pull the window down here. At the top is the capture device window. Whichever camera that you have plugged into your computer will show up here. If it's not in the window already, by clicking on the arrow, it will show you all the other devices that are available. So we'll just click on that one. Then you have to decide where you're going to save your the videos that you make. Go down here to the output file, click browse. You can set up a folder for time lapse, for butterflies, for praying mantises, mushrooms, whatever you want, and then by clicking on that, that's where your uh, recording will end up. In this case we'll just call this uh, uh, test file 6. As if I want to replace it, I'll say yes. One handy feature of the program is the, the live video preview down in the lower left by clicking on the enlarge window pull it over here you can see what you're uh, what uh, you're going to be filming in this case it's our infamous water beetles it's out of focus though so by adjusting the camera lens we can bring it into nice sharp focus now, quite often, though, you're not going to like the color or the lighting that's available. So by going up to the video settings, we can click here, go to the video protocol amplifier, and you'll see these sliders, one for brightness, one for contrast, color hue, saturation, and sharpness get the picture just the way you want it and hit apply and close that window and then we can also close that window back and it will go back into the live video now we have to decide what we're going to be uh, what kind of subject matter we're going to be uh, looking at the default for this program is at one thousandth of a second meaning the program will take 1,000 frames per second at a playback speed of 30 frames a second. So you can get all the action that way. Uh, this is good for things such as a, capturing a, the, the striking arms of a praying mantis, uh, the swinging of a pendulum. But let's say we want to be filming something very slow growing like a mushroom or plants. In that case, we might set this at 300 frame at uh, 300 seconds so the program will take one frame every 300 seconds one frame every f essentially five minutes that means in the course of a 12-hour day you would gather essentially five seconds worth of video being played back at 30 frames per second if you want to really slow things down you can even change the playback speed down to as, as low as one frame per second 30 and we'll go back here to point zero zero one now we're ready to start our recording so we just hit start as again if we do we want to overwrite the the earlier program we'll say yes and away we go over on the, the left side here it shows the um, output file size and over here the number of frames you can even set the program to run a timestamp and uh, time and date stamp. 